Hello guys, welcome back to Take Dose and in this video we will see the closest prime numbers in range problem which is from lead code number 2523 and stay tuned till the end I will have a bonus point at the end of the video. So let's first read the problem statement. In this problem given two positive integers left and right, find the two integers nums1 and nums2 such that uh, the nums1 and nums2 falls within the range of left and right inclusive of this range nums1 and nums2 are both uh, prime numbers and the difference should be minimized between them so if you got an answer then just return nums1 comma nums2 if you don't find an answer return minus one comma minus one okay so let's look at an example for better understanding uh, in this case you are given a left as well as a right value i'm taking an example of 10 and 19 now you need to find out the pair of closest prime numbers in the range of left to right inclusive of both left and right so this is the condition which was mentioned in the question okay so what we can think is uh, we can just enumerate all the prime numbers in the range of l to r and we can simply iterate over all the numbers and check if the given number is a prime number or not a prime number let's say we know how to uh, do primality test there are multiple techniques uh, so after doing the primality test in the range of L to R, we have enumerated all the numbers 11, 13, 17 and 19. I have also uh, shown the difference between the two numbers. You can see that it makes sense to compare only the adjacent numbers because if you start comparing let's say 11 with 17, it doesn't make sense because the difference value will be larger. So it always makes sense to compare only the adjacent numbers. Now in this case the adjacent difference values are 2, 4 and 2. So this pair comparison can be made in linear time which is order of n. Now what we need to do is we only care about the minimum difference value pairs. So that is 11, 13 and 17, 19 because they have difference values which are minimum. Okay. So there are two such pairs. Now which one to take as our answer? If you have multiple pairs with the minimum difference value, then we need to take the one with the lowest a value. That means we are returning a comma b as a pair, right? So the minimum a value is this 11. This is also a, the first value is a, right? So in this case, the answer is 11 comma 13. Now let's say if I had given you, uh, I mean, a problem from L equals to 10 to R equals to 10, something like this or if this range do not contain any prime number or maybe one prime number but not two prime numbers in that case uh, we have to return minus one comma minus one as answer so i think the problem statement is clear uh, now this problem is all about two steps uh, where step one says that you have to find out all the prime numbers okay and then you have step two uh, which is about uh, iterating over all the prime numbers and finding the two closest primes okay so let's solve this problem step by step. Let's see the easiest method to find uh, step one, which is find out all the primes in the range of left to right. You can just uh, take a primes list where I will be pushing all the prime numbers and you can iterate from left to right and simply uh, we can take a boolean flag variable, which is is prime, assuming that whatever the current i value is, that is a prime number. And now we can do the square root of n check. Like we will start from two and go till square root of i and check if there is any factor for i if we can find any factor then we will set is prime equals to false right and we will break out now after having done this loop if we still have the flag set to true that means uh, there was no factor uh, for this value and therefore we can say that it is a prime number and we can push it into the primes list so this is the easy way and if you follow this approach then I'm taking order of n as the difference between right and left because left can be equals to 1 and right can be equals to n, right? So the difference will be approximately n. So this is order of n and this will be order of root n. And therefore the time complexity to find out all the primes in the range of left to right will be n root n. Okay, this is not a very good approach but this is a naive approach. You can follow a better approach uh, finding the primes in the range of left to right using the sieve of Eratosthenes. I have already made a detailed video on this. Please uh, click the i button or check the link in the description below. Uh, now let's just do a dry run using the sieve method. So in the sieve method, I will take a sieve of size right plus one since the array index always starts from zero, right? So I'll take a Boolean array and assign them all the true values because the name I have taken is is prime. So initially I will assume that all the numbers are prime numbers. And this is the code for the sieve method marking all the values. Now if you see this, what we need to do is we need to start from two 
and check out if it is a prime number. Yes, it is a prime number. If it is prime, then mark all its multiples starting from the first multiple, which is the second multiple, right? Multiply by 2, multiply by 3 and keep on moving. So we have to mark all these as false. So 8 will be marked as false, 10 will be false, 12 is false, 14, 16, 18, right? We have marked all these multiples of 2 as false and 2 will remain as prime. Now check for 3. Now when we check 3, 3 is also a prime number, right? So if it is prime, then mark all its multiples as non-primes because 3 can divide those numbers. So 6 is already marked, mark 9, 12 is already marked, mark 15, 18 is already marked and we are done. We can similarly check for 4, uh, but 4 is already not a prime number. So if 4 is not a prime number, that means 4 was divisible by some prime number which is less than 4. And if the lower number can divide 4, then all the multiples of 4 can be divided by the same lower number, right? Because if 2 was able to divide 4, then all the multiples of 4 will be uh, divisible by 2. Okay, so we don't need to check for it. Now, how long do we run for it? Uh, we will just run till square root of the largest value. Because if the largest value had some factor, it will be covered till square root of n. So, square root of this 19, okay, the base of it will be equals to 4. So, we don't need to go beyond 4. The same idea has been implemented in this code. Now, the detailed explanation will be on the other video. You can just watch it. And the time complexity will be n log log n for the sieve method. Once the sieve method is done, we can just iterate from the value 2 because 0 and 1s are non-primes. So we can just iterate from value 2 and move till the right value and see whatever true values I can get. Those will all be prime numbers. Okay. So we are doing nothing but taking the primes array and iterating over all the numbers from 2 to right. And if the current value is a true, that means it is a prime number and just push it into the primes. So this is how we can uh, get the step 1 done. Now let's look at the step 2 when you have the list of primes. This is the easy step where you have to just iterate and compare the adjacent pairs. Uh, so we can just assume that a equals to 0 and b equals to int max so that I have the maximum possible difference. Okay, we cannot get any more difference. Now we will start with index 1 and start comparing the ith index with i minus 1th index. And if this difference value happens to be lower than a, uh, I mean b minus a, uh, then you just update a to be equals to prime set i minus 1 and b to be equals to prime set i okay and similarly keep on comparing all the values you will see that you will end up with 11 comma 13 because even if you get the same gap i'm not talking about same gap this symbol is greater than right so it will always hold the uh, minimum difference with the smaller value right smaller value of a comma b pair so this will give you the answer and this iteration can be done in order of n time Therefore, the total time complexity in this case, having used the sieve method will be n log n and uh, having compared all the pair of primes will be n. Okay, they are separate step. Therefore, we have uh, used a plus here. And therefore, it boils down to order of n log log n. I would like to announce about our live training programs, data structures and algorithms, which is interview dose and system design, which is design dose. If you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company, this is the best curriculum you can ever join. I'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and I will help you clear all your doubts in the one on one sessions. You can know more about this by querying us on the WhatsApp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in. Now about the important bonus point which I was about to tell you. Uh, was the comparison of time complexity between n root n and n log log n. Let's assume that from the given constraint left is equals to 1 and right is equals to 10 to the power of 6. Therefore, uh, the value n will be right minus left which we can approximate as 10 to the power of 6. If you find out the value of root n that will be 10 to the power 6 uh, root under root of this value which will be equals to 10 to the power of 3. And if you find out log n base 2 then this will be equals to 20 approximately. And therefore log log n will take an input 20 uh, for the log n and then apply a log on top of this which is base 2 and therefore you will get an answer 4. So you see that if n is equals to 10 to the power of 6 then n root n will be equals to 10 to the power of 9 and n log log n will be equals to 4 into 10 to the power of 6. And if I assume that 10 to the power 8 operations can be done in 1 second then this will be done in 10 seconds right and you can imagine about the time taken here it will be less than 0.1 second. 
hence uh, you should follow the sieve method if possible and this is a huge difference right you will get a tle on step one if you apply the naive approach let us now look at the code implementation i think you can already write the code by yourself this is the closest primes main function and i will get the left and right value this is how we can apply the sieve of eratosthenes and after applying it we will just be extracting all the primes into the primes list and once we have found all the primes we will be uh, finding out the two closest primes by just comparing the adjacent pair of primes in this case if we do not find any pair uh, then we will return minus one comma minus one otherwise we will return a comma b so i hope you were able to understand the entire problem and its approaches if you have any doubt feel free to comment below like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of these programming videos see you guys in the next video thank you